Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Oh, I smell bag milk. Bag milk. Bagged milk from Oilers Nation. Good to talk to you again. It's been a couple weeks. Good morning. Yep, it's been a couple weeks. How are you guys doing? Lots going on nearing the end of the season. We're doing good. Um, not so good seeing the news that McDavid's on the injured list, though. What's going on there? Yeah, it sounds like he got banged up a little bit against Calgary in the last few minutes, and they're just taking a precautionary approach with him, so he's not going to play tonight. Should be back for the weekend or maybe even sit him for the weekend. But ultimately, right now, the Oilers have their playoff spot locked in. They're basically... I mean, they're only a couple of points away from locking in home ice. So uh, even if I bet if this was a playoff game, Connor would be playing. Yeah. But ultimately, I think it's better to take the approach where you just kind of like let him take a couple of days if he needs it because the playoffs is much more important again than a random Wednesday night game against the Vegas Golden Knights. Even though I know we are looking to lock in home ice. Yeah, and I mean, there's the chance that they could connect, catch the Canucks and stuff, but. Near the end of the season, you want to save McDavid, give him the best chance to be a force in the playoffs that you know he's going to be, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I still think there's a chance to be Vancouver or catch Vancouver even with McDavid out a game or two. Like, you're totally. still a very good team. Like, and Dreisaitl, historically, when McDavid has been out of the lineup, has really stepped up. So, I'm expecting him to do it again. I still think the Oilers are going to win tonight over Vegas and give Connor the days off that he needs. But the goal of catching Vancouver is still there and it's still in sight. So I think they can do both. A lot of people are talking about the the little, I don't want to call it a fight, but the argument, I guess, between Perry and Kane. I liked it. I liked seeing it on the bench. Um, but there was a theory being floated by Elliot Friedman. He was kind of talking about how he thinks it could be that McDavid and Dreisaitl pulled Corey Perry aside and said, hey, we need you to get Evander Kane going for the playoffs, do something. And that's kind of where it came from. Do you, any thoughts on that? Well, I mean, like, it, it's interesting that, like, so I saw the quote, too, and we covered it at nation.com But, like, ultimately, Friedman's just kind of, like, opining. He's theorizing yeah. there. So, like, there's nothing locked in. But at the same point, if you think about it, listen, you got a Hall of Famer like Corey Perry on the bench. Like, if there's anybody who can say anything to anyone, it's a guy who's won basically everything there is to win in hockey, right? So yeah. if, like, if they go, hey, man, can you use your help with this? I don't think that's weird either. And I don't know about you, Grant, but, like, me and my buddies have yelled at each other more than that about way dumber topics <laughs> than what I saw on the bench the other day. So I do feel like people are, like, Getting a little bit too into this. I mean, we're talking about the other yeah. one playing well at that specific moment of the game. This, the, you know, tempers are up. It's heated. Like, I've had beer league games where we've yelled at each other like that. So I was going to say, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too rattled by it. I've been playing at 11 p.m. on a Tuesday where guys are yelling at each other. Just skate harder. Skate back to the puck. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it every once in a while, right? Like, I couldn't imagine being in that situation with the the level of talent that they're dealing with and the level of competition and you're getting close to playoffs. And I said it to Jimmy the other day, like that's the best thing Corey Perry can bring to the team. I think is he's a guy you have to respect on the ice. And if he tells you to get going, you, you get going. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like I said, I think he's like, if anybody is the one that Connor and Leon kind of go, like, hey, man, he's a little help. Corey Perry's the guy. Yeah. Like, like I said, he's won everything there is to win in hockey. He's a legend. He's a surefire Hall of Famer. So, yeah, makes sense to me. But, again, I also don't take that exchange on the bench as much more than two dudes kind of have a disagreement. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've, I've yelled at my buddies about Pop-Tart flavors yep. more than that before. So, like, I don't know. What we're, I don't know. I guess it just doesn't bother me all that much. Strawberry's the best. <laughs> wow, you see, I'm following you on strawberry. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, playoffs, do you guys have playoffs. anything coming down the pipe uh, with playoffs with you guys? Yeah, Play we're nice. going to be doing – you bet. We're going to have some events coming up at Greta Downtown again. We're just finalizing all the details on what those are going to look like, but we're going to have the viewing parties. We're going to have giveaways. We're going to have raffles and all the kind of fun stuff that go along with the Northern Nation Watch Party. So watch out for more details on those. We will absolutely have those coming up at Greta Downtown during the playoffs. So – just watch out for some more details. We'll have some announcements shortly. You can find all that and uh, all sorts of articles and everything else at OilersNation.com. Bagged Milk, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, boys.